the whispers followed us. Some of the kids at my school call me bad names and make fun of my mama, but I pray we can stay here. And I do wish my daddy was home more. The last time mama used her gift, she had to be hospitalized. I wonder what I could do to keep my daddy home and my mama safe. It would have to be something. That powerful clip was just one glimpse of The Watcher, Film Camp USA's latest project. The St. Louis-based organization provides space for future filmmakers to acquire skills for careers in film, music, and entertainment. And we are so honored to have them joining us this morning. We have Monica, Lynn, and Michael, and we have a lot to get into. Let's first talk about Film Camp USA, just how it really helps filmmakers and young filmmakers specifically. Absolutely. Film Camp USA is a state recognized program that we run and we've been running it now for two full years and uh, last year we did Steel Rascals and Michael was uh, actually they grew up so fast he was so little and then this year he come back I said that's Michael. <laughs> Look a little different. Exactly the kids grow up fast but they, they learn so much and they're learning the art of filmmaking along with learning transferable skills. And that's so important, obviously, to have that opportunity for the arts and to really see Absolutely. it and get that exposure. So, Michael, let's chat a little bit about your experience with Film Camp. So, my experience, it's been great. Um, I've got to learn so much about filmmaking. Um, one of the main things I've not forgotten is that before you make a movie, you have... You have to block it, light it, mm -hmm. and shoot it. Yes, yes, there's a lot of prep time that goes into it. I think we'd even say the same thing about Show Me St. Louis. And all that kind of goes into those working parts, and that's obviously a great skill to have and carry on in the future. Now, The Watcher is what we're talking about. We're rolling out the red carpet. We have a big premiere. What can you tell us about this film? Absolutely. So, uh, Lynn can probably tell you a little bit more as well, but The Watcher, we're so excited about it. Um, it's the, the Missouri Film Office actually had a storytelling competition, and the lady who won is actually from Arizona. And so she gave us the script, and last year we did a teaser on it, and this year we kind of we, just, we blossomed it. <laughs> but what they did was they did some adjustments to the script. It was one kind of film when we started out. Out. Then it became a suspenseful drama, mm -hmm. and the kids got to dress up in not so clean. <laughs> yes. They rolled yeah. around in the dirt, <laughs> hairs everywhere, but it's a, a suspenseful drama, and the kids, uh, they loved it. Yeah. We shot on location, yeah. and they just had a wonderful time. They even had craft services there. Oh, so good. Food and stuff so like that. cool. Yeah. I mean, just an incredible experience to get that exposure and even that drama and suspenseful. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that those are some bigger conversations. So if you want to see it, do not worry. You can yes. go. It's going to be this weekend. You can take a look at your screen there for all of those details. It's going to be on Saturday, July 30th at 3 p.m. at the Two Hope Performing Arts Center on the UMSL campus. Thank you all so much for being with us this morning. Absolutely. Fantastic. And I wish you the best of luck on that red carpet, especially you, Michael. We're excited to see it. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll be right back.